Hello, this is Eric Bobro, and in this short little video, I'm going to answer a question that came in uh, in my Archicad coaching program. Now, often I do very long videos explaining a lot of detailed things. This is a quick question, and I thought maybe some of you would appreciate just a short answer to a question that might be confusing. Now, here it is Saturday night. This is the sort of thing that I do, uh, not every Saturday night, uh, but... Um, you know, this is what I'm here in my office working. Of course, sometimes I do put on the, the video lights uh, here so that you can see me. Um, so just wanted to answer this question from Ricardo Yaten. Can you take a quick look at a schedule I've created? It's a simple one, trying to get the total number of outlets and switches, both new and existing. The problem is I can't get a total on the number of units. And he sent me the file. So let's take a look at this file here. So you can see here is a plan with a bunch of electrical symbols all over the place. Uh, this is a layout sheet and up in the top section here he's got his switches and outlets schedule which is showing that he's got outlets and switches, some existing, some new, but he doesn't have any totals. So I'm going to select the drawing on the sheet, right click on it and say open source view. Now if it was a plan or a section or something, it would open that. In this case, it's going to open the schedule. So here in the schedule, we can see it's got some that same information. And I'm going to go into the scheme settings, which defines what is displayed in the schedule. Now the scheme settings are basically to pull in what type of elements we want to list, in this case objects that have the name outlet or switch as part of their library part name. So that's just one way to uh, get this type of a listing. He's asking for the library part name and the renovation status to be shown. And you can see here, the library part name and the renovation status are shown. Now he has this little sigma symbol, symbol here, which is intended to do a total. And he's thinking or trying to get a total of how many of these parts and clicking on this. But the problem is that you can't total up library part names. You can only total up quantities or other numeric data. So how do we get this? I click on Add Fields. It brings up a selection area where we can choose. We can go in through different areas here to find things. Or we can simply type in to search, and I'll type in quantity. You can see here is quantity. I double click on that, and you can see how it shows up on in the list of fields. I'll say OK, and this will give us part of the answer. When I say OK, you can see here's the quantity. There's 55 existing outlets. These are objects named outlet that have a renovation status of existing, and then there, of course, are the new ones. Um, now, he undoubtedly wants to have a total of how many outlets and how many switches there are. So I'm going to go into the scheme settings and show where we need to adjust that. Instead of having the sigmas in the library part or renovation status, I will click here in this area next to quantity in this sigma column, click on it, once to just select it, second time to activate that it will be a sigma. So this is going to total up the quantities. Now we don't need the renovation status to be quantified, so I'm going to click again on this. It'll go to a different one, which will be a count, and then I'll click again to turn it off. So you click repeatedly until this is blank. Now I'll say OK, and we'll now have a grand total because we've told it that we would like to not only get the quantities, but we'd like to total the quantities. Now, at this point, it's still showing, it's showing 148 for all of these, but really, we'd like to have 55 and 45, 100 outlets, and however many, I guess, 48 switches. So we can ask Archicad to do that by using this little flag, which groups things when this field changes. So whenever it has a new library part name, it will give us a total of whatever is being totaled. I'll say OK. And you'll see now it says there's 100 of this type of part, 48 of this type of part, and then 148 total, which may or may not be helpful or useful. But this is the easy uh, way to get what Ricardo needed. Uh, 
If we go into the scheme settings, a couple of points here. Sometimes you may want to put in another field that would be the story. So if you have a, a very complex project with multiple stories, you may want to put in the story and have it total up based on stories, um, or at least group based on uh, stories. Um, then you can say how many of these things are on a particular story. Um, you can only, I think, group by one thing. So we could instead group by renovation status. I don't think that's going to necessarily um, help because you can see what it's doing every time it switches renovation status. It, it does that um, switch. So we're going to put it back to this one and say, OK. And here we have something that I think Ricardo will be quite pleased with. Let me go back to the layout sheet and we'll just it's updating automatically. I do have to make this bigger to show that so I can right click on this and say oh, um, drawing selection settings or I can go into the settings on the side and choose perhaps to change the frame. Where is the frame? Here it is down here and say that I'd like to fit the frame to the drawing and say OK and you can see how it enlarged this to fit. I can also do other things to resize that. Um, as well. And if we wanted to just make this a little bit more compact, then if I go back into the source view, we can, for example, double click on renovation status, the little separator that makes it narrow just as wide as it needs to. Double click on quantity here to make that narrower. And perhaps let's make the quantities centered instead of left aligned. I can click in this field, say centered. And now we have something that, you know, I think looks a little bit better. So this is going to update in just a second. And there you see what it's got. So hope you enjoyed this little quick uh, tutorial. If you'd like to get my personal assistance on your ARCHICAD questions, I invite you to join the ARCHICAD coaching program where I have weekly sessions answering questions in a group coaching call, a webinar. And then I also take questions via email uh, and ones that I can answer via email, I will reply back. And the ones that are more complicated, I'll do them as part of the coaching webinars. It's been Eric Bobro. Thanks for watching.